Hi, welcome back to my uh, moment again, and I want to say thank you so much. I haven't done this, um, I haven't done this moment for a long time, and I really wanted to schedule this moment. And uh, before actually, I flew to uh, Surabaya last time, but um, I didn't get a chance. And before I did a preview last time, also I didn't get a chance. I went for co training, also I didn't get a chance. So I think um, now is a better chance, and uh, for me to do this moment, and. You know, I made a milestone uh, last time in my YouTube channel and the milestone was fantastic. And as a content creator, and I think I'm very happy to make that milestone. And a lot of people told me that I can't do it. A lot of people that I wouldn't make it by the end of the year. But I did make it by the end of the year. Actually, I didn't make it for one year. I made it for seven months. And as you know, that I made a milestone in my YouTube channel, which is I did a 1K subscriber, full on 1,000 subscriber on my channel. Right now, my channel has gone up to 1,060. Is it 68? Let me check. Um, 1,068 subscribers. And it's actually going up very, very fast. I really want to say thank you for everyone for making it real, for making it come true. Small compared to the other YouTuber. Like, the other YouTuber have 1 million subscribers. And the other YouTuber have 2 million. Uh, like, you know, like Casey Neistat has about 8 million. And, um... I mean, it's not much compared to them, but I can I can tell you something. I made this 1,000 out of the out of like out of all my friends. So every of that 1,068 subscriber are all my friends that subscribe to my channel. Um, maybe a, a percentage of it is, is not my friend, but the rest of them, yes, I know them. So that means you uh, subscribers, you can actually you can't buy subscribers in YouTube. Not like. Twitter, you can both buy followers. So actually, everything is there is actually organic from uh, myself. But I really want to say thank you for those of you who have subscribed to my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for clicking almost every time that I upload um, the video. I appreciate it for those of you who came just um, you know uh, duduk di situ and you laugh with me and you smile with me and you get scared with me with my all those moments and all, and, and, and and listening to. Malam Jumat with a Cerita Malam on my channel also. I really do much appreciate it. And um, I can't say, say thank you enough how much I really uh, feel very happy for my channel for making it 1,000 uh, subscribers up until now. But it's more to come to my channel. I know that um, yeah, next week and, and next year and another two more years, it's still going to be up and I'm still going to keep on uploading my life and throughout my days. So stick around. I know you're going to get uh, more videos and uh, more trips for me. And um, uh, But today, it was, actually, that was the first part that I want to say thank you. But the second part I want to say thank you is, uh, you know, my birthday has passed just now and I got... I somehow I want to do an unboxing on this one at the same time as my birthday has come past. I want to do an unboxing uh, because I'm going to swap my camera into another another uh, good camera that I, that I got. Well, actually, I didn't get someone bought for me. So here it is. Uh, let me introduce you to my new camera. Ta -da! Ta -da! Ta -da! Ta -da! Yeah, you're right. I can't be more happy enough to to know uh, th this new camera, and this new camera is called the Canon EOS M5. And um, Canon EOS M5. Now uh, it's totally brand new. It came out November uh, 2016, so it just came out last year, just new. And uh, there's a newer one which is called uh, EOS M6. So, like, what be before I do change this to this, and I'm just gonna let you know <coughs> the difference and. Uh, I really had a thought about it uh, of this thing, uh, yang namanya vlogging bagus atau enggak with this camera and what is the downside and the upside about it. So uh, let me share it with you uh, now, like um, the downside and upside of it of yang namanya M5. Untuk untuk vlogging bukan untuk foto, because I never take photo, I take only videos. So I'll let you know the downside of this one. Uh, I think there it is. <laughs> the EOS M5. For vlogging, first up is the reason I I, I know this is because it has um, it has a dual uh, sensor AF. So uh, it says dual pixel AF. They say this dual pixel AF, the autofocus on this one is crazy. It's crazy. So it has 49 points in, in its screen. So that means it will 
it will actually fix the attack wherever my face is going and then I'll keep on uh, focusing now uh, in vlogging autofocus is one of the most best important thing that you need to know why is because if your camera doesn't autofocus properly um, your, your image will blur and as you know that when I did a lot of my images a lot of my moment as you know when I did my moments and everything else um, my other moments my my images blur because the camera did its best to, uh, to catch me in, in the focus moment so you will see that camera zoom in and zoom out and working its uh, focus now with the rebel t4i the <coughs> the working of the zoom it's not much you can't see it very very much but uh, still in some moments if you have uh, you go go back to my moments you will see that my face is unfocused you'll see uh, people is unfocused whenever I shoot them as fast so whenever I turn to someone and um, this camera T4i Rebel which is 650d um, it does its best to actually focus and when it's focused it still blurs out so it, it, it takes a long time for it to focus now with this let me tell you this got crazy ass focus let me tell you a lot of people reviewed this one that says it doesn't need seconds to focus it just focus every single time and you don't have to worry so you trust this one so that's one of the reason why I bought this one and let me tell you it's even better than the 5d mark II. <coughs> the body the inside is better than 5d mark II. Uh, it's cheaper than 5d mark II. and actually if I want to compare this to the, the inside of the, uh, the inside spec I would compare this to 80d which is Canon 80d DSLR the big ass camera uh, the advantage later so number two it has an articulate stream so that means I can see myself whatever I vlog so it's like a selfie now with the rebel T4i it has a best I think articulate screen I don't know why uh, Canon doesn't make it that way now with my T4i my articulate screen goes to the side so eventually whenever I want to put a, a microphone or I want to put on a gorilla pod it always is always right it, it fits in you know it's like uh, uh, I can see myself on the side on this side and then I go back and, and talk to you guys and that's it and my microphones are top. but with this it flips down now flips down is fine actually it's better than to the side because if I flip to the side and then I look to the side if I'm in a frame or not you will probably not see me in focus with you now if I use this one I still can see focus with you but I can't plug in my gorilla part because when I when the thing articulates down it stuck to the bottom of the plastic not my gorilla part so you gotta uh, I'm telling you this before uh, anyone gets this um, it does that but I realize something I will sacrifice myself not to frame myself inside the, the screen I mean if I will need to frame myself I'll just use something and um, it's a solution that I have I'll talk to you a lot to you more soon about that solution um, now let's unbox it those are the two things that's really very important in vlogging if anyone wants to start a YouTube channel sorry this <coughs> you get one small battery uh, this battery is called the LPE 17 yeah if I Strap, ta -da. Sorry, that way around. Not yet. Ta -da. Canon, has, Canon has a strap. They get, give you a strap. And then the body. Let's take a look. Whoa. It'll be so cool. So, um, this articulate screen. So, let me tell you about the articulate screen. This one. This is what I mean. It goes down. See, it gives you a selfie. It's just nice. I mean, it's okay. But I can't put my gorilla pot there. You see? Because the, diff the, the distance from there to there will hit my screen. And if my screen doesn't click properly, it will not articulate, it will not go upside down in the right, uh, in, in the right frame. So um, I will test it out soon. I've, I don't know how it goes, but I'm just saying that I won't be able to put my gorilla pot there. It's got everything inside here. So it has the dual function. It has all the buttons on this side. And then it has all the mode button on this side and the back is quite the same it's got the round joystick and then it has got record button on this side the record button is a very uh, weird feeling of record button it has a hot shoe mount at the top for me to put my, uh, my microphone and it has a I think it also has a, a flash and that's it and this is it now 
uh, I didn't buy it with a lens, so I, I, I went to buy it body only. Why? It's because I already have the 1018. Yes, I already have the 10, is it 1018 or 10, 1016? Let me check it out. Yeah, I already have the 1018 and uh, lens, which is the STM lens, uh, the, the ones with uh, image stabilization. Now, this lens will fit into this one, so I can use my old lens and put it here, x -Rep. This is a, called an um, M-mount, M-mount, and this is called the EFS. Now, the EFS won't go into the M-mount, why? Because it's too big, but I still can use it. And how do I use it? It's I went to get this one. So on my birthday, um, very just nice, uh, um, like that. So this goes into there, and this goes into there, and then just nice. And once it goes into the, uh, uh, the M5, I can actually fit in my uh, 10 to 6, 10 to 18. Eh? Yeah, 10, 10 to 18. 10 to 18. So this is a very vl a good vlogging lens. I bought this one quite a while. Um, very expensive, the, the lens. Um, and for me, it's very expensive, the lens. And then so I can just use this lens because I think it's very wide. Because if I buy 1122 uh, in the, another Canon, put it inside here, it would cost me more money for that. But anyway, so fantastic. So let me test this out, how this goes. I can just fit this, open this mirrorless and then I can just do this just nice and then this adapter fits into this supposedly like that it clicks in you see how it clicks in it looks like it has a, a another lens there it's not it's actually an adapter so once I take this out I will change it to this one and uh, we'll, we'll see how it looks let's take out the battery first da -da 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 -da. the battery is here so another one I want to let you know, the reason I didn't tell you the third one, why this uh, this function is very good in vlogging, is because um, actually without that, uh, you can also vlog, like a lot of cameras um, uh, without that function, everyone still vlogs the same way. Uh, the other function, number three, is actually image stab stabilization. Now, this, uh, this M5 has image stabilization. That means whenever I vlog, whenever I'm walking, it gives me a still shot. It gives me a perfect, fantastic, uh, very still. It has a 5-axis gimbal. Uh, not gimbal, it has a 5-axis uh, XL of uh, stabilization. So that means I'm going to test it out, say, because a lot of people say it's a good stabilization. Now, the G7X Mark II also have a stabil stabilization this one has also uh, has it also but the, the gx has three this one have five axes so it will be better than the g7x mark ii and g7x mark ii is the i gotta tell you it's the is the most fantastic camera to do vlogging g7x mark ii i mean it costs about five million nowadays it's cheap and for you to be low light, he has good performance and low light. He has good autofocus. It's a it's a point and shoot camera, uh, the G7 X Mark II. But it doesn't have a microphone input, and that's the reason it's not in my hand right now. So let's take this for a ride. So I'm gonna be moving this to this, and then and a count of three, I will you will see this quality here, the quality on this video with this um, camera. And it goes one, two, three. There. This is my new uh, visual with my uh, M5 series EOS. Let me sit down first. Uh, it's my new visual, and it's on my, it's on my, it's on my lens, my old lens, which is 1018. Uh, this must be a better quality, this must be a good quality, and it can do slow motion, just to let you know. So this is the quality, I'll be vlogging from this camera from now on, and with a fantastic uh, gambarnya and lain sebagainya. Hey guys, I need your help to actually comment down below, uh, if you see the difference, uh, perbedaannya dari kamera sebelumnya sama yang sekarang. Should be, see a lot of difference, and should be less noise, and it should be more crisp gambar dari itu. It should be a very very good one, and the color should be... Waduh, you know what? The Canon has uh, yang namanya true tone colornya itu luar biasa banget. Canon tuh science skylernya tuh nggak ada yang ngalahin dalam yang namanya semua DSLR. Uh, that's enough about me. Enough of everything. So number two, 
And two things I want to say today in this moment is going to be a short one is number one is thank you so much for subscribing. I get to 1K. It's a milestone for me for a content creator. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. And you guys know how much I crawl. I cried. I got pushed. And you know, guys, how many I knew how many times I fell down from it. But I want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart from subscribing. Subscribe a lot more and share a lot more. Number two is I want to share you with my new camera, vlogging camera. And in that, guys, I will show you around and around the area what it looks like. And I will show you a some cinematic uh, view, and I'm gonna use that slow motion of yours. In that, guys, thank you so much. Keep it real, keep it clean, and vlog positive.